Hello, everyone, and welcome to, whoa, that's a cool texture, The Haunting of Lot 21 Horror Map. I'll read the credits. I really like that, actually. All right. Credit to Mr. Crayfish's model creator. Credit to DL Sounds for the royalty. Commons license is royalty free. Credit. Okay, I'm using OptiFine for this. I was actually able to finally get it to download. Um, who is the creator of this map? I am very confused. Because I don't really see it anywhere. It just credits the person that some of the stuff comes from. Okay, this is only one player. I'm not going to go into this, but I spent the last, like, 15 minutes going over all this, making sure it was right. The only thing that I wasn't sure I'd got right because I couldn't find it with OptiFinite was the particle thing. Um, because, look, let me show you. This is my option menu. When I go into video settings, I have literally no idea where it is. Or map, oh, Mick 5 or map by Mick 5 There it is. Please read the books in the chest. We'll work through. Okay, this is important. Please read. You don't need to read this. I'll put this there. And the full guide. Without the map, you will find items you can pick up. If you have an item in your hand, you will not be able to pick up that item. You need an empty hand slot to pick up the item, which is quite logical. We're really even stuck on a puzzle. Look at your items you can use and expect them thoroughly. Okay. Okay, let's look at this. Making maps can make a lot of work and many hundreds or even thousands of hours to make. So when you upload a map for people to play and you know it's high quality, it can be very annoying when somebody comes along and tries playing your map in 1.52 million when it clearly says everything the map can only play play it in 1.11 and then nothing works for them and so what do they do they go on to minecraft apps and give your map a one star or less rating because of their own inequalities to read the rules and it can make you angry and make you lose all inspiration can you waste your time making maps fair enough if a map is bad it is bad but when a map is downloaded because the arrogance of some people not reading rules everyone loses because map makers will find something else to fill their time so, like, my last adventure map, which I consider my best, it can never be taught by me. It is disheartening when I look at the low votes for what I consider high-quality map. I think I see for all map makers. Thank you. If you read this to the end, I'm sorry for rambling on, but I hear I hope I can put a question. Oh, I'm sorry, but that's stupid not to read the rules of the map before you download it. Oh, my gosh. Okay, I might need this. I'm going to keep this. I'm going to put these back. I don't really need these two. Okay. Thanks for downloading. Rules. Don't get start scared. Tell your friends how much you love the map. Don't cheat. Have fun. Play in 1.12.1 or 1.12.2 only. That's what I'm in. So don't worry about that. One player only. Please turn off auto jump. I already did that. I didn't even know what tool tips were. I didn't have it enabled, and I turned it on, and they turned it back off. Your edition is at 11. Optifine is downloaded. It'll be a little bit fine to download, though. And the Minecraft bug thing, so I might, if I die, I might have to log back out and log back out. So, be prepared for that. This is just the beginning, but, um, has a lot of jump scares. I'm pretty sure the texture pack is working properly because I don't think I've ever seen some of the stuff in like normal Minecraft. Um, some tips. Just making sure you essentially just says check everything. Check everything. And then checking out the other maps. And then when we're back over the credits, so let's head back over to the, the begin button. It has a lot of junk scares. Alright. Before you start, please make sure you have how to find the salt and texture packs loaded properly. That has high resolution textures and a lot of commands to make it work, and 
Off you find more prevent lag, increase your FPS. When all is set, press the button again to start. Good. Everything's set. The Haunting of Lot 21. Horror map made by Mick underscore 5. Thanks for downloading. The story. You are a special agent, the Crescent Rose. You work for Paranormal Investigations. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have so much fun. You have been called to, in to investigate some strange activity that has been occurring at Lot 22. <laughs> so you packed your bag and started your journey to work. But. You stand in the balcony and look out of the ocean and think to yourself how peaceful it is out here and the reason you love working here. I better go and see what my assignment is. Okay, before I go into this, Nick, oh my god, this freaking texture pack is beautiful. <laughs> Daddy, hello, special agent in the Crescent Road. Thanks for coming in at such short notice. We have a special assignment for you. We need you to investigate some strange paranormal, paranormal, paranormal ugh, at the mansion at Lot 21. If you head upstairs and see... The Tweety, she will give you a key in your assignment case file. Good luck. This paper. Okay. That is creepy. I'm serious. Wow. Hello, Agent the Crescent Rose. Here. Take the store key that leads to the boat and take the case folder. The only way to reach the mansion is by boat. For it is located on an island to the southeast anyway. Before you go, take the food from the microwave and click on the chip machines and fridges. When you are ready to go, click on the agent blinker and he will transfer you to the boat. Good luck, special agent for the Crescent Rose. Agent, the Crescent Rose assignment file. Take the boat to Thimprock Island and solve the mystery of the Haunted Mansion Lawn 21. Field agent was sent in six months ago and disappeared. Then one day he was spotted walking the streets, mumbling at goats and demons. He was never the same again. Good luck, agent. Go and solve the mystery and find out if the place is really haunted. When you're ready to go, speak to Agent Blinker by right clicking him. Okay. They're there. I know. Oh, you're a bleaker. Ooh, I have a kilo chips. Can I get more? You got chicken? More chicken? More potato chips and more potato chips. Hold on, I want to make sure I didn't miss anything down here. Can I get to that? How do you get back here? Good deal. Okay. Doorway key. So this is this. No, let's go click on Agent Breaker. Breaker. Okay, you have the door key to exit. Did you get the food from the microwave, fridge, and chip machines? If you're ready to go, click on me again. A good luck, Agent. Follow the path down to the boat. Okay. Oh, a little bit of light spike. Yeah, there's a boat I can take to Hidmark Island. I don't know why it's like spiking like this. 
I feel like the controls start the moment. Cut scene the journey. Oh, that's probably why it's lagging. She head off towards Hemark Island. You think of yourself, what mystery will the mansion hold? Is it really haunted? Well, this is what I'm about to find out. Share your thoughts and think of the agent who went crazy and hope the same thing doesn't await you. The boat starts to shake and rattle. Something isn't right. So for your destination, but the boat starts filling with water, and you realize you have no control over the boat. Uh oh, controls, controls on the boat are stuck, and you head straight into the rocks. No gear. The loud crunch. Slashes to the wall and the boat takes water. The boat starts sinking rapidly. The boat keeps taking water and it's almost gone. The boat completely sinks. Where the crap am I? Chapter 1 Surviving a Wreck. Ugh, my head, where am I? My head, the dizziness, I must have washed up on shore. This is slowly going, I am starting to feel a bit better. Ah, that's better. It's lucky you escaped the boat crash. Looks like I've lost my gun all my sessions. At least, I washed up in him or Arlan. I must have been close anyway. While I'm here, I might as well complete my assignment and worry about getting off the island later. My checks. So I saw from the food as well, except I should starve at least. Dang it, you didn't even give me back all my chips. There's blood right there. Okay, the guide walked through. It's a bit laggy. So do I go in here? The cave looks dark, but I can see the light at the end. I may as well see where it leads. Okay. Did I just duck down? Or did I fall in a hole? What's happening? Can't move again. I don't know if it's a lag or what. Continuing this way. Oh my gosh, it's a big building. No wonder I'm lagging. It's like the mansion I was sent to investigate. It looks spooky. That thing is huge! Okay, 
looks like the gate's open. There's blood everywhere. Oh. Uh... Okay. I need a weapon. If that made me jump a little bit, though, I half expected it. And the door just up shut behind me. Hmm, looks like I'm trapped in here. Well, it looks like my assignment has begun. I better start looking around. Maybe I can climb the rope. I should also look for the kitchen. I might have a knife to use as a weapon. <sighs> when they hurt you be on the ground floor. <laughs> for some reason. <laughs> okay. I'm oh shit that. So sorry for the lag. Oh, a map of the floors. Okay. Uh, the kitchen's on the other side. World. Are those candles or something? What does it say? Powder door, prayer to open. Stand in the Crossfaring Square to place gym. Okay, I don't have any gyms currently right now, so. Okay, let me see if I can get this door open. No power running to the door, dang it. Need to search for the power room key, and then I can ask this power room and some power to these doors. It's probably the gym room. Okay, this one looks like yeah, it needs a key to open. Hmm. So you can't mess with those. They look like normal drawers, though. Okay, what? Oh my God! Please don't tell me that's Annabeth. I'm leaving that. I don't. I don't want to deal with that. <laughs> I'm so glad I'm doing this in the morning instead of at night. In the world is this rope. Open the big door on the ground floor that leads to the fireplace. Can I go up any higher? Oh, there's a reason to. Uh. Oh. I did not mean to hit the ground that hard. Okay, there's some more powered doors over here. There's 
floor. These are stairs, it says. Library. Let's go check the library out. Actually, I might not be able to. Hmm, I need to find a way up here. Yellow gem. A fake gem might be useful though. Okay. It's only a fake yellow gem. It might come in handy though, so I'll keep it. I really don't like how laggy this is. Power room and charge your own risk. I'm scared to go in there because I'm not entirely sure. Because I don't have a weapon or anything. I have a, the kitchen. I need to have a powered room. Oh. Skywalk. I think I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go upstairs to check the stuff up. Oh, the kitchen is upstairs. I thought that was downstairs. Let's go up. Agent e agents drop notes. There is a lever up above. I need to find some ladders to reach it though. Okay, I actually already got that. Okay. It's a ladder right there. I don't want to go up there quite yet. I want to finish exploring this room, this floor. Ooh, a code pad. That's oh, that's gonna be difficult. I'm not looking at that painting. I'm just continuing forward. Okay, this one's a lot. There's a lever right here. Turn the light on for over here. A piece of paper up on this table. Drop notes. This place is really haunted. I need to get out of here. I encountered a strange ghost with lots of gold and tear. And asked me to find it. I ran away as fast as I could. If you can happen to find the stone, run as fast as you can. Okay. Is the first aid box? Gold and tear. Is this the crystal I'm holding on to? Remember to right click on everything so you can draw it here. Oh. Okay, so I got a little bit of armor. Machine's empty. It's a pants. I 
think I've gotten everything in this room. Didn't get any shoes though. The key room. Okay. Let's head back across. I know one of these rooms that I don't have any access to is a kitchen. Go up the ladder over in the far corner. Like lag every five seconds and it's aggravating. Oh. That's what the ladder pieces are for. Okay, um. Let's go see if I can put this gem down. Oh, this area opened up. Oh my head. Where am I? It looks like hospital. I should look around. Oh, great. Give me a freaking flashlight. Oh my head, what's going on? It's just hallucinating, I could have sworn I was in a hospital. I don't remember now. Okay. Very dark in here and I can't see anything. <laughs> oh my god. Well that made my heart hurt. There's a passageway behind there. Can't really see anything on the sides of the rooms. It's not very bright. Just looks like furniture and stuff. Alright. Okay, I am going to go to the power grid. Heart is up in my throat. <laughs> oh, key to unlock. There's another rope in here. Yellow vial. Regenerate for 20 seconds. Okay. So I come in handy. Who knows what I might come up against in this place? Oh, I went up the right side. Hold on. Iron gate is now open. Okay, another rope up. Is there anything else in this room? Doesn't look like it. Oh. 
Ooh. Yeah, there's a rub that way. That's the way back I just came from. So I need to go down this way. Should be able to get in the kitchen on the first floor now. For a knife in the kitchen because I need a weapon, maybe some food as well. Okay. If I remember correctly, the kitchen is on the second floor next to the cafeteria area. So over here to the left. place I can use these ladders. I think it was on the first floor right above the power room. Push this off. Yet. Okay. Put some fried chicken. Hold on. Let me, um, my stuff off my hot bar. The knife and the sink, I should take it. It may come in handy as a weapon. Seems I don't have a gun anymore. Be safe, have but now I need to find some more ladders so I can use them on the first floor above the power room. I should check on the doors on the ground floor again. I'm not done checking the room. Two chuchkins from this. There's a bigger knife right here. Why do I need this tiny one? See if this door is open now. Nope. Okay, that's the crystal room. So the crystal I had was fake. But this one. Nope.
Try to check this room. And the rose is speaking to me. She strains for ten seconds. It's like I'm handy, who knows what I might come up against in this place. I need some keys for that door. Wooden doors unlocked. Ones that I just saw over here? Yep. Here's the last ladder piece. I missed that jump scare a little bit. I wasn't expecting to be attacked like that. Can I not get out of here? The lag is killing me right now. I can't get through this door. Hold on. Your settings. Let's turn this down. No, that should be fine. Um, dang it. What do I do? Me. I know I should have. I have to have my render distance at level eleven. Let me drop it real quick. Maybe that'll help. I was sucking it out the door. Okay. 
But the last of the ladder pieces, so I need to go upstairs. Oh yeah, lag is so much better. Field agent's drop note. This huge painting on the forest floor is so creepy. I could have sworn it was watching me on my past. I seem to follow. And the big door on the forest floor near the creepy painting. Anything else up here? Don't look like it. I'm sorry I had to drop the render distance, but it was lagging so bad that I could not just keep up with it. Found it and I will open the way. Take this key, but where's those around the catacombs? This girl? Okay. So I need to find her a golden tear. I have this, the yellow gem. Alright guys, I'm going to have to end off here, because we're getting on in time. This is going to be a two-part one. So please leave a like if you like, comment if you wish, and sub for more. I'm out, people. Bye!